Okay, so here's part C. We have, this time, infinitely many dogs spread around a circle. Now, I asked you to go get infinitely many Lego pieces. Mm, good thing we have dot dogs. Yeah. How come you didn't go get infinitely many Lego pieces? Mm. Take too long? Yeah. All right. So now they're equally spaced around a circle. So... Infinitely many of them. But wouldn't they technically be touching already? Why? Because they're all the point. Because each sort of side of a circle is a point. Hmm. Okay. And the sides touch at points. Yeah, this is an interesting case. This case is actually probably as interesting as the two gun case. Well, this is sort of a weird case because I think they run zero because they're already collided. Oh, but they're definitely running. Yeah. So they're, they're going to run more than zero. What do you think is going to happen here? Well, they run... When they run directly to the dog on their left. Well, then... So if everyone... I think the circle would just sort of like rotate. Interesting. So they don't ever collide. How far do they run? Infinity. Infinity. So now we have a... Th maybe since it was an infinity gone, maybe they... Since they run infinity, so maybe for like a triangle they run three. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. But at least it showed us that for a two-gon and a circle, if they're the same length, the, the dogs run a different distance. As silly as that seems, at least we learned something there. They do run, so it's not going to be the same number for all polygons. At least it seems like it's not. Maybe we could create like a formula. Yeah, that's where it probably gets a little hard um, for, for elementary school kids. But I think this is a pretty cool problem. And one thing that's really neat is our friend Dan Anderson made some pictures of this. Cool. So I thought I'd show you his pictures. Yeah. Okay? This will be interesting. Yeah, it really will be interesting. All right, let's take a look. Okay. 